is just so... <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm going to be talking to you about dossier fragrances. So dossier claims to be a fair alternative to luxury perfumes. They offer scents inspired by Tom Ford, Creed, Baccarat, yes, a lot of different scents. So it's really nice to be able to have the option to try out and wear different scents and not commit to that price tag until you know that you like the scent. So I do recommend also buying the scent if you like the scent enough, um, and I'll tell you why later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Dossier's motto is fragrance for all. So Dossier aims to eliminate retailer markups, celebrity marketing, and licensing fees to offer luxury scents for 70 to 90% less. Everything on their website ranges, not everything, but all the fragrances range from $29 to $49, depending on what you get. And there are some ways to get discounts, so stay tuned for that as well. So I bought four fragrances. Here are the fragrances. And they came in this nice little box and they are each individually packed. So that's really nice so they weren't sliding around or getting damaged on the way to me. And I have been able to smell all of the scents that I ordered. However, I only own one of them and I own the intense version of the other. So I own two of them and I hope to get my hands on the other two later on in life. But for right now, I'm okay with just having these two uh, and these dudes. So for each of the fragrances, I'll go into the notes. I'll tell you the wear time because I actually have had these fragrances for a little while. I'll get into that a little bit later as well because I was able to wear test them and you'll see my dents in them later. So. Yes, they are good. So for each fragrance, I'm gonna tell you the accords, I'll tell you the notes, so that you can get a feel for if you'll like them and if they're a fit for you. But of course, if you smelled the original fragrance before, you'll be excited to know that yes, the dupes are actually on. And I'll explain to you the pricing, um, how to get discounts. I don't have a discount code, but I can tell you how to get a discount, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into these fragrances, shall we? The first one we have is the Floral Ylang Ylang, and each one will come in a little package like this. It's really cute, really nice, and what you'll do is you just open it up, and there'll be a little card that comes in it, so that's really nice, and it tells you the notes, the concentration, who it's inspired by, and then just some extra little things about how it works with their return policy and some things like that. I went ahead and labeled all of mine so that I knew what I was reaching for. So it won't come with that, but it will have just a regular white label. It'll tell you the notes and it'll be clear on the back. And, and another nice feature about all of these bottles is they are magnetic. So that's very nice. Um, Whenever I'm traveling, I won't feel like it's going to spill on me or do any crazy thing like that. Yeah, these are all also 1.7 fluid ounces. So I normally buy a 3.4 fluid ounce, but a 1.7 fluid ounce for $29 to $49 for a good smelling fragrance is just fine with me. This is the Gabrielle Chanel inspired fragrance. And the notes on this are, oh, the notes in, the Floral Ylang Ylang by Dossier. The top notes are Lily, Grapefruit, and Blackberry. The middle notes are Ylang Ylang, Tuberose, and Jasmine. And the base notes are Musk, Orange Blossom, and Orris. For Gabrielle Chanel, the main accords are White Floral, Citrus, Woody, Sweet, Fruity, Musky, Yellow Floral, Powdery, Tuberose, and Enema. So for Gabrielle Chanel, the top notes are Grapefruit, Mandarin Orange and Black Currant. The middle notes are Orange Blossom, Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Tuberose, Lily of the Valley, Pear, and Pink Pepper. And the base notes are Musk, Sandalwood, Cashmerian, and Oris. And I will tell you, it smells just like it. So it is a little sharp to my nose, personally, but I really do like it because I like the original Gabrielle Chanel. I've had this 
I would say for about maybe four years. I used to think fragrances were for special occasions only or date nights, things like that. But now I wear them to bed, I wear them to work, I have grown up a little bit. So I'm enjoying my fragrances. Yeah, so this was one that I wanted to grab a, a dupe of so that I could test it out, wear it more often without using all of my Gabrielle Chanel because I don't want to replace it just yet. So yeah, so now I have this. So I'm going to go ahead and do another spray test on the strip. This is the Dossier Floral Ylang Ylang. Oh, and it smells really good. What am I getting at the top? It's so sharp. So I'm going to spray this one with the original Gabrielle. Mm. Okay, this one is sweeter, but in the dry down they smell the same. This is a, this is sweeter on initial spray, but once they dry down, I use this to go to work, run errands. Very rarely will I wear this um, if I want to smell really fresh and clean at the gym. Maybe if I'm hitting a one and a half hour leg day, I might wear this, but... And I'm only saying I would wear this at the gym because it's a dupe. I'm not wearing Gabrielle Chanel to the gym. Let's, let's, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, but I'll wear the dupe. I'll wear the dupe. The Floral Ylang Ylang is an 18% concentration, so that's probably why it's very strong. It's almost too strong in the opening which is nice because if you spray it like 20-30 minutes before you're about to leave you'll have that nice dry down and it won't feel as if you are trying to fill up a room with a burst of fragrance that is just too strong for anybody's nose so yeah it lasted on me when i wore it i would say about six hours not on the skin on the skin it lasts about five hours it maybe four but on the clothes and just in my like and because I spray the back of my neck, so sometimes it gets a little bit in my hair. So in there, I can still turn my head and smell it. And it's really nice for about eight hours, I would say. Yep. The next fragrance, since I have the intense version here, I'll do this one next. Um, and I'll save the two that I don't have. But I have smelled <laughs> for last. And I've owned them before, I just don't have them anymore because I either gave them away or I decided that um, I wasn't going to repurchase at the time. So, yeah. This is the YSL Libre Dupe Inspiration. I'm sorry, Inspiration. So, this one is really beautiful. My only gripe with it is, well, I'll tell you. So, let's go over the notes of the original Libre. Libre by YSL has main accords of white floral, citrus, lavender, vanilla, aromatic, sweet, powdery, animalic, woody, and fruity. The top notes are lavender, mandarin orange, blackcurrant, and pedigree. The middle notes are lavender, orange blossom, and jasmine. And the base notes are Madagascar vanilla, musk, cedar, and ambergris. The floral lavender has top notes of mandarin, neroli, and black currant. So that's the same. And then middle notes of jasmine, lavender, and orange blossom. Also the same. And base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. And it smells identical it smells identical and it's really nice because I can wear this one to bed and not feel guilty that I'm putting on a more expensive fragrance and it's just me in my bed I, I, I feel like other people should be able to enjoy this as well not just me so when I wear this one I don't feel as guilty let's spray this on and do a smell test mm. Oh, so good. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to compare it to my favorite, the intense. And I'm going to spray it just for y'all. I haven't sprayed this since this is a bone. Mm. It's just so. Mm. 
<clears throat> so good. And this one's so good. Oh, it just makes me happy to have both of them in my collection because I'm going to use this up. So I suggest getting that one. So let's move on to the one the girls love. I'm just kidding. I think it's really the one that girls love to hate now, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> and this is Ambery Saffron. And I actually recently did a layering combo with this, so that was really nice. Check out that short. I'll link it down below. This. This. <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with this one, and I'll explain why. First of all, she is the dupe for the queen herself, Miss Baccarat Rouge by 40. You don't see the whole thing. She is the dupe for Baccarat Rouge by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. I don't have that one right now in my collection, but I've owned I got it in a travel size from Micro Perfumes. So I got it in travel size from Micro Perfumes because they were having a sale. And my grandmother was like, oh, I love this scent. I really want it. Can I have my, your travel size? Because I know you don't really like it like that. And at the time, I didn't like it like that because I didn't wear perfumes except for special occasions. So now I do like it. I like it to layer and to wear to bed. I wasn't layering back then. The Baccarat Rouge, the main accords are woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, animalic, aromatic and metallic the top notes are saffron and jasmine the middle notes are amber wood and ambergris and the base notes are fire resin and cedar so the dossier version is the amber saffron and that that has top notes of saffron and orange blossom middle notes of jasmine plum and cedar wood and base notes of oak moss fir balsam and amber all right, so I'm a little confused because this one has plum in it, but it works, kind of, and I'll explain why. So let's spray it a little bit. Now let's get into why. Okay, so I remember why and I know why. It's all bringing back why. This smells really great on initial first spray, and even in the first maybe hour or two. But after hour three, four, five, I can't find this fragrance. And maybe an hour like five or six, it'll come back a little bit and it'll be a skin scent. You might pass your arm and be like, oh wow, hmm, it smells good. But it's not gonna be something that projects for a long period of time. I don't know, cause the price of this one is not hefty, but it's heftier than the other ones. So I'm like, I thought it was gonna last a little bit longer. So I thought this one would be a little bit stronger since it does have an 18% concentration, but um, I don't know, it, it's, it's okay. I don't know if I'll repurchase this one. I think I'll just get the original, but I do like it. I will repurchase others and I'll tell you about that one in just a moment. But this one I think is, is okay because if you think about it, the original price for this is $375 plus tax. I don't know. This one, I, I think it might be worth trying, definitely worth trying. But if you're looking for something with longevity or that's going to protect for a long period of time, this is not it. Last but not least, we have my favorite out of the bunch. I know I said I love floral lavender and that's my favorite scent for certain occasions. But this is my my new favorite um, every night scent. I don't even know. I, I feel like I could wear this anytime. This is going to be their floral marshmallow. And that is actually Dossier's version of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. And I fell in love with this fragrance. I fell in love with the original Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. And having it for this price, I fell in love. So in Killian Love Don't Be Shy, the main accords are sweet, white floral, vanilla, caramel, citrus, powdery, musky, and envelope. And the top notes are neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, and coriander. The middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, rose, and iris. And the base notes are sugar, vanilla, caramel, musk, civet, and lab denim. So in the floral marshmallow, the top notes are marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris. 
And the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. And vanilla's my favorite. And we're gonna spray this. So I can fall in love all over again. I have to reorder. It smells like a hug. It smells like a hug. Mm. It just smells like a fine summer day. And at 18% concentration and the nice price point, this just smells like happiness in a bottle. I don't know, I could just keep sniffing it forever, so let me, let me stop. And look, let me just show you the dent on my fingernail. The dent. Just excuse my fingernails, I'm going to do a video on <laughs> how I do my nails. So I wanted to wait and do them when I have time to do my nails. Uh, I work a full time job too, so just ignore my nail. I love this fragrance. And I've only had these for a, maybe like a week and a half. Maybe less. And I've been wearing the other ones and my regular fragrances too, so it's bad. I'm living my life, and that's what should be... I'm living it all, every cent at a time. So let's get into pricing and talk about that. So the pricing for the Floral Lavender and the Floral Ylang Ylang, which are the YSL Libre and the Gabrielle Chanel, were each $29, but they were discounted, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Then the Floral Marshmallow, which is the Killian Love Don't Be Shy, was $39, but discounted. And the Amber Saffron, which is the Baccarat, will be $49. So, let me tell you about the discount. And anybody can participate in this. It's really easy. All you do is add to your cart, and it pops up. I'll show you. What you do is, you just add one thing to the cart, nothing. You add two things to the cart, uh, still nothing. But, but once you add three things to the cart, you get 10% off of your entire order and free shipping. If you add four things to the cart, you get 15% off your entire order and free shipping. And if you add four things to the cart, you get 20% off of your entire order and free shipping. I bought four items. The floral ylang ylang and the floral lavender were 20 $24.65 a piece, and then the floral marshmallow was $33.15, and the amber saffron was $41.65, totaling $124.10, plus $9.92 in taxes and the free shipping, all equated to $134.02 for four perfumes. So I am very happy with that, and if you're wondering about delivery, I ordered on March 13th and I was supposed to receive my order on March 22nd but I received it on the 21st so that was a nice surprise and today is the 28th so I've been testing them out for exactly a week and I love them I love them I would repurchase in a heartbeat so yeah I hope this review helps you to make your decision on some fragrances in Dossier's collection I will be making some more purchases in Dossier's collection such as the black opium and the black orchid so uh, go ahead and stay tuned for those videos but if you enjoyed this video feel free to comment like and subscribe comment down below and let me know what your favorite scent is from this video if you've tried any scents from dossier or if you plan to try any scents from dossier let me know down below I'll also link the scents that I use this is not a sponsored video um, I spent my own money for all of these products and I really enjoy them. So this is not sponsored, so go ahead and use the links or don't use the links. Search it yourself. I'm just making it easier for you to find what I have in this video. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed your time here and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!